Hello my lovelies, oh my god, I've just rushed out of the house. So I was sitting this morning and answering your comments and I got so engrossed in it that I didn't realise what time it was and I'm rushing to the gym now. So I haven't been to the gym for two weeks now. So obviously we were away for a week so couldn't do it and last week was so hot that it was impossible to go and work out in this gym i told you the gym i go to is not a pretty poser gym it's a hardcore uh, gym where people train for competitions and stuff like that so and it's in like a big um hangar type of place so it doesn't have air conditioning it has it has doors both ways so when you when the doors are open you get the flow of air but there is no air conditioning so um, we didn't do it last week so two weeks without gym it's always so hard to get back to it also Louis was booked last week for his haircut with the groomer and that got cancelled because it was so hot and um, this lady does it at her house and she said the house is so hot and it's quite dangerous for the dogs you know to um, to be groomed and also because Louis is so an anxious and he pants so much he could overheat so he didn't have his haircut and um, she said I will see when I can fit him next and he goes every four weeks in the summer so I thought you know I have clippers because I, I got clippers for him when we were in lockdown I've given him a couple of haircuts not very good but you know better than nothing so I trimmed him and I gave him a bath as well because he was stinking a bit after holidays um, and um, he will just have his next appointment in August it has cooled down a bit it's still warm 23 degrees but nothing like last week Tomorrow I am going to lunch with my friend so we can catch up because I was away then she went away so we haven't seen each other for two or three weeks so that will be nice might do some more shopping <laughs> I must it is pointless um, you know that uh, pink linen dress that I bought from in velvet and the green one I only wa wore the pink one once um, on holiday to a restaurant and I haven't worn the green one yet so you know that's what I mean that's why I buy these tent momo dresses <laughs> it's just something that I can wear to the park or you know my garden around the house because I really really don't go out much it's almost pointless buying any smart clothes so I'm on my way to meet my friend for a bit of shopping and lunch. Unfortunately, it's a bit showery today, it's spitting, so that's a shame because we were hoping to sit outside somewhere and have lunch, but we can we can do it inside. It's just I just love sitting outside um, to have my lunch, but what can you do? I am wearing my electric poppy today. I've got um, I've got on um, these really old crop trousers that I bought years ago, um, and they are sort of that colour. So my lipstick goes with my trousers. Right, I'm in the shop. Uh, so these are the trousers I was telling you about. You see, they are really nice colour and i've got my kate spade bag with me and this linen top from mint velvet so i'm just here in the changing room trying a couple of white tops what do you think of this t-shirt it's quite nice it's got a nice detail here do I need it? Probably not. Have so many white tops, but that's all I really wear.
Look at this beautiful sky. It's been raining all day today. But um, what do they say? A red sky at night, shepherd's delight, which means tomorrow is gonna be a beautiful sunny day. I came out especially to film that. It's just amazing. It's like the sky's on fire. I hope this is coming out okay on the camera because he looks a bit pale to me on the viewfinder but when I look at it oh my goodness it's just amazing did you like that it was beautiful so gorgeous right so I had a lovely time with my friend in town we had lunch for like two hours and then we did some shopping you saw me trying some things on so I did get a couple of things but I show it to you tomorrow good morning so I wanted to show you what I got yesterday um, when I went shopping with my friend I didn't get much I tried lots of things I hate trying things on that's why I like shopping online I know the sending back stuff is a bit of a pain in the butt but it's much easier these days anyway I got these leggings from three people they have really nice gathering here and all these seams are reflective oh my god these are like the softest most comfortable leggings I think I've ever had so I bought them more not so much for working out but just wearing around the house they are just amazing and I think the name of them is you are a peach it doesn't yes you you are a peach something like that so I immediately went on three people website trying to find them and they do them in lots of colors but I couldn't find the, the gray one on online but I leave you the link to the others and I like them so much that I actually ordered another pair online of um, like really lovely pale pink ones then I got this linen top from Hobbs it's just like a square it's square all over the neck and the shape of it love it so much you know I'm not into red so much for some reason but this red is so beautiful um, you've seen me trying it on I think I filmed a bit when I was trying it on and this was on sale so um, I got that I will see if they still have them online because obviously this is like summer sale stuff and the last thing oh my god this is from um, American Vintage it's a knitwear it's like a very oversized um, jumper it's quite short it's not quite cropped but sort of just rich, reaches your um, belly button and they did it in the sizes were extra small small or medium large so I got extra small small and it still has plenty of room so I would say that this size would fit any broad body from extra small to even large and it's so soft it's just honestly these leggings and that jumper I will live in and I love this beautiful beautiful pale pinks so yeah that's all I got so not too many things have to be you know have to stop buying summer clothes really because it's almost August August is just around the corner and I'm getting a bit anxious 
it's getting near September and God knows what's going to happen this winter so I hope we are not going to go into another lockdown but who knows they've lied to us so many times throughout the last 17 months that I expect anything so yeah getting very anxious so I'm going to enjoy August and then see see what's going to happen okay it's gym day today again my hair will need doing soon again but you know because my I'm getting more and more grey my roots don't look as severe I feel yes yeah, so um, I'm going to the gym today tomorrow we have a um, new mattress coming for our bed so Paul has real obsession with bed mattresses and pillows the amount of pillows we've gone through um, he has two pillows and every night it's almost like a ritual he lies on one and thinks you know checks if he's comfortable then lies on the other one and chooses which pillow he will sleep on that night so he's not happy with our mattress anymore mind you do they say you're supposed to change mattresses every seven years so i reckon that one is seven years or a bit more so he got this new mattress okay i can't remember now what it is but he said it's supposed to be the best mattress in the world and all the reviews were very good and you can try it out for 90 days or something like that and if you don't like it you can send it back the problem is <laughs> we've paid for a service to take that mattress away so if you, we don't like the other one we'll have no mattress actually i think that mattress is not going back tomorrow i think they sent someone separately a week later or something like that so after a week i should know if i like it or not yeah so i will tell you later what this mattress is called where it's from um because i can't remember I just thought that red top will go lovely with these shorts that I've shown you uh, last Monday. This pattern has sold out now, but I think this top will look nice yeah, with these shorts. Because otherwise I only could wear white with it. And I think if you wore green with it, it might be too much because there's a lot of green in it, but not as much red. Ah, let's hope the uh, August is warm enough that I can still wear shorts. Okay, my lovelies, I'm better go to the gym and I'll speak to you later. Good morning, my lovelies. So I am just trying out this new sponge. I bought a bag of makeup sponges on Amazon and there is 12 of them I think and it was something like eight pounds I do use sponges as much as I use brushes I suppose it depends what I fancy and I hate when they get all dirty and it doesn't matter how much you try to wash them you know in the sink with soap or with with sponge cleaner it just they never look good what i do i put them in my washing machine when i wash towels i do it with dark towels and they come out beautifully but i suppose this is not so good for the longevity of the sponge so if you use them a lot you go through quite a lot and I don't buy beauty blender because it's far too expensive you know I mean how how can you pay 17 pounds I've had beauty blenders but I wouldn't buy them all the time 17 pounds for just a sponge is far too much I love the Real Technique sponges and they are, I think they are around £10 for two, but I just got 12 for £8 something. So, and yeah, it's quite nice. It goes huge when you, when you wet it. 
um, I actually quite like it. I don't like sponges that are too soft and I don't like them to be hard. This one is just in between. And to be honest, they all will apply your makeup. So yeah, they're really nice. I will leave you the link to the house. If you can see all that stuff behind me, our mattress is coming today. So I've just taken the sheets off and I'm washing them. And just have it ready for the new mattress I hope I like it oh and I remembered what it was called but now I forgot again <laughs> um, what was it I don't know I will tell you at some point if not I will leave it in the description box also I wanted to show you sort of my everyday makeup when I don't feel like well I'm talking about eye makeup because what I do to my face is the same every day if I'm going out or if I'm not going out foundation all that is the most important thing to me so um, I will skip through all that I'm not gonna sit here and do a whole tutorial but I want I will show you what I do on my eyes just like when I can be bothered I do like applying eyeshadows I enjoy it but some days well most days today most days these days I just want something quick slap on and go do you know I have been using now every day this um, Delilah loose powder under my eyes I really really like the Jeffree Star powder and I also use Fenty Beauty one or the Hourglass and I was gonna buy because I've run out now of Jeffree Star but I don't think I will for now because this one is so lovely it's just so fine that you can't see it on your skin at all okay so i've done my foundation and my brows and now i will use bronzer i'm going to use the nars uh, by the way i just did a video about my favorite bronzers and blushes and lipsticks for summer so i will link it here i use for the this rifa 05 so i do my bronzer then i will do blush this is the nabla skin glazing in lola by the way you know when sigma sent me all these brushes this one this dual fiber which is called contour slash blush and it's called something uh, it's hard to read because it's on this glittery background f53 i think f53 yeah I love this for blush and then I take the same bronzer and I just apply it on my eye all over just when I do one eyeshadow look and I only really do that in the summer I think when you have a bit of tan and especially blue eyes that bronzy look on your eye makes your blue eyes really pop so as you can see I'm not being careful you really don't need any skills as long as you go quite you know especially with hooded eyes quite high up I almost go under my eyebrows then I use it on my lower lash line as well and 
and then I just put mascara on. Um, I always use the NARS Climax mascara first, and then I use another one on the top of it. I think I'm gonna use where is my uh, one of my new mascaras that I quite like this YSL one the one gold tube and black top I can't remember what it's called I think there is few mascaras that are called the same thing and then on my lips I throw on the Bird's Bees I always forget what this one is called lip shimmer in peony so this is my stay at home makeup then I will put my hair up because it's not looking too good <laughs> got creases in in my hair I also have a video how I put my hair up and that video is always linked in at the bottom of my description box how I wear my hair up this video is from that bumped bump ponytail so you can have a look at that video but that is basically it so it doesn't take me very long to get ready in the mornings there so this is my stay at home makeup and hair <laughs> let's put some fragrance on my lovely fresh fragrance this is um joe joe malone um peony and blush suede this is my favorite it's very fresh very summery i just got a new one actually lasts forever for years well not years but at least a year right i'm ready so um i will show you the mattress when he arrives Okay, so here is our mattress. The name of it is Simba, and I will link in the description box uh, which model we got. You have to, it came as you saw, all vacuum packed, so it's flat as a pancake, and it takes six hours for it to, you know, swell up. I don't know how I feel about it because. It obviously has some sort of um, memory foam in it, although it says it has springs in it as well. I don't like memory foam mattresses, so we will see. Paul's adamant that this is the best mattress in the world, so we will see. So, here it is. It's, um, it's not as deep as our old mattress, so the bed is going to be a bit... Obviously, this is going to swell up to a, to about here, about to this frame. And if you're wondering about my bed, my bed is a um, an Ottoman bed. If I can remember where we bought it, I will leave you the link. It's a um, Ottoman bed, so it's got a frame and 
all that came with it. The, <laughs> can't speak. The headboard came with it, and you could choose also the height of your headboard. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it to swell up now, and we will try it out later. It has been two hours now, and as you can see, the mattress has grown quite a bit. I think it has still a bit to go. So soon I'm going to put the sheets on it. We normally have this mattress protector, uh, sorry, ma mattress topper that is really thick, but I think for a couple of nights we are going to try it first without the protector. See, because not protector, uh, the topper, because obviously the topper makes it feel a bit differently. So maybe for a couple of nights we sleep without the topper and then we put the topper on. Right, <clears throat> new bed mattress report. So I've slept on it for two nights now. The first night without the mattress topper, I I liked it when I lie on it. I don't know how to explain it. It is not a memory foam mattress, but it has some sort, it has like 10 layers of different stuff. So when I leave you the link to it, you can read it and see exactly how it is constructed so i feel like it is quite firm but still has some give you know like the memory foam beds don't have any give you just sink in it and i don't like that at all this doesn't this has like give to it so sort of almost a bounce i love my beds to be not firm quite bouncy so you feel like you're lying in a cloud this one isn't so when I woke up the next morning my back was a bit stiff I didn't like it Paul loved it he said he had a lovely night's sleep but he prefers firmer bed so the moral of the story is we need to sleep separately <laughs> um, anyway then I put the mattress topper on which is nice it's it's about that thick and and it feels very plush and um, yeah today i woke up absolutely fine and i slept fine all night so i don't know if it does take um time to get used to it obviously if you slept for years on one mattress and then suddenly you get something different um it maybe takes time to get used to it but yeah it's nice but i love my um, mattress topper just one last thing I wanted to show you. I got this Tanko and it is a self tan sheet protector. So, you know, I fake tan a lot. This just arrived, so oh, comes in a lovely bag. I fake tan a lot, and of course, you know, when you go, when you apply the fake tan and you go to bed the next morning, your sheets are stained. So, I'm fed up with it. So I bought this sheet and it is like a silky material, it is not silk obviously, um, but it's very silky. Uh, you probably won't see it, but it is a bit um, like a sleeping bag. Can you see it's got that to put on the top of your duvet, it's got zips both sides so you can unzip it you can zip yourself up i probably wouldn't um and it has this panel for your pillow so you put the pillow in here so yeah it looks pretty good so i'm going to try it out i don't know how is how is it going to be to sleep in it um, but i will try it out next time i'm i'm tanning yeah, so with the bed, it's such a um, personal choice, isn't it? And it's so difficult to buy a mattress. Even if you go to a mattress store, even if you lie down on it to try it, it means nothing because you have to really sleep a couple of nights on it to know. That's why I think it's such a great idea that um, 
I think you have 90 days to try it and if you don't like it you can return it no questions asked so yeah but no I'm, I'm quite happy I, I thought if the second night is uncomfortable I will have to really think about it if I need to send it back or not but yeah it, it was absolutely fine so we will probably keep it but I will update you with time if I'm getting well I don't know if I'm gonna have any better night's sleep I had a perfectly good night's sleep and my back didn't ache this morning so <laughs> right my lovelies I'm gonna go now I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye